I got it. I got the center up about 25 feet. It's the best I can do right now. Uh, the ends are of the uh, 75 meter. The ends are both both about uh, eight or nine feet off the ground. Same for the uh, ends of the 40 meter. They're both about eight or nine feet off the ground. Um, I had to rerun my feed line. I had to hang a guy wire on a tree. <clears throat> it was it was a lot of work, um, but it's done. That's the really cool thing is it's done. If it works, I got comps. If it's uh, set up right for propagation, I'll have NVIS comps, and that's the goal is to have reliable person to person radio communications within the state here. That's my goal. Your, your mileage may vary. So let me give you a guided tour. Mm. Let's start with the end. <clears throat> There's the end. I, I took the painter bolt, the painter's pole out and uh, put in a piece of inch and a half PVC. It's, I'm not exactly super satisfied with it because as you can see, <laughs> it's pretty bendy but uh there's the end of the 80 meter here is the line securing the end of the 40 meter but the end of the 40 meter is way out here here's the end of the 40 meter right there uh, they're both running up this this antenna is laid out in in the fan dipole not the like with the bamboo, but fan, it's fanning down. It's a inch, inch and a quarter pipe with the actual outside diameter of an inch and five eighths pipe. And they're about $33 at your ste local steel yard. They're uh, 20, I wanna say 22 feet long, but this one's been cut and used in railings and stuff. So I, I put my painter pole, I painted it, uh, and then I put it in upside down so that the stuff that's sticking up is fiberglass. So I've got my metal away from my antenna line. <clears throat> you recall my feed line was coming across my roof up into that tree and then going up into the 40 meter. Now my, my feed line is coming off of a, it's tied to that eye bolt to keep it away from the AC and there it is okay we're on the other side of the fence on the other side I've got that set up like a kind of like a flag so that by manipulating this line I can raise and lower that whole assembly like like raising and lowering a flag pole so I can work on it and do stuff I have a guy wire coming off to, to offset the feed line I have a guy wire coming across over to this tree and the ends of the 80 meter goes way 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 back about uh, two feet past my fence line and it's tied off to a tree so there it is okay here we are power on power on Will it tune? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this thing tuned. I don't know why. Shouldn't even have to tune it. Oh shoot. What's up? If I key, I'm gonna SWR. Okay, zero. Yeah, I got high SWR. Dang it, what the hell? Oh, uh, well. I guess we're back to the drawing board again. Ugh, frustration. We've gotta figure out why it's got high SWR.
Well, I had Santa Babylon, and I figured out one thing. Uh, I took a, I, I had extended the uh, feed line um, with about a 15 foot extension to get up to the, where I repositioned the antenna, but turns out it didn't need that extension anyways. So I took it out of the loop, and that might have been uh, part of the problem. Uh, also, um, I redid my math, and I should not have done uh, a uh, 65 foot long lead. Um, I made an error on my center frequency. You see the general is licensed at 3.8 megahertz to 4 megahertz. And I've got my center frequency all the way over there at 3.6. Well, that's a dummy move. I should have made my center frequency uh, 3. I have to go out and cut the leads short. I got to cut them each by five feet, and then re-loop the ends. And uh, I'm, in the and, uh, I'm in this. I'm in this 75 meter band right now, but uh, I'm not hearing anything. Hey, there's some. <laughs> awesome. W0SQ, this is KD0GSF calling. KD0GSF. CQ. This is Kilo Delta S Gol uh, Zero Gulf Sierra Foxtrot. Name's Dunamis in St. Paul, Minnesota. I just hung a new uh, inverted V and I'm trying to get a feedback uh, report on it. How, how copy? Yeah, I didn't quite get the call. You're in St. Paul and you got an inverted V. Uh, your uh, audio is distorted. I don't know if you're a Foxtrot in St. Paul. What's the handle? My name is Dunamis. Delta Uniform November Alpha Mike India Sierra. I'm getting NVIS. I'm getting Brainerd and Wyoming, Minnesota. I will. Uh, I will try again. Um, this is again Kilo Delta Zero Gulf Sierra Foxtrot. Handle is Dunamis in St. Paul, and I uh, appreciate the contact there in Wyoming, Minnesota, and also Brainerd. Appreciate it very much, guys. I'm going to back out and let you back to your conversation. Yeah, Kilo Delta Zero Gulf Sierra Foxtrot. I think I got that right. I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah, very fine. No problem there, and. Uh, uh, just back in the evening here, the band was uh, to turn around a little bit and uh, probably get a better uh, handle on uh, your antenna there. Uh, okay, uh, see you later, Andrew. KKC. Roger that, sir. Thank you. KD0GSF, over and out. Yeah, Roger. Sweet. Got some uh, 75 meter contact in Brainerd and in Wyoming, Minnesota. Mm, awesome, awesome. Get narrowed down. I might need to have to like put a ballon on there. I'm not sure. Um, but like the guy said, the bands are pretty crappy right now, so we'll see. Anyways, we're making progress. Making progress. Making progress.